Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, of course, Dolan Meister, and uh, we're gonna try some Dreadnought. Yeah. If you don't see this video later in the day, you know that it was pulled down because of the NDA that I was told has apparently been released, but I'm not sure, I can't really seem to confirm that, but I figured let's play something that is sort of an RTS-like game, but not, but it's in space, so it kind of goes well with the StarCraft. So the StarCraft right now is, I guess, on hiatus uh, because of the fact that, well, we're done with it until the rest of the packs gets released. So sucks but here we have this look at this ship this thing is awesome so i would like to run through with you guys we're gonna go ahead and just do the tutorial because i've not played this game enough to really know how to play it really well i've only played it a handful of times and i've had a lot of fun playing it um dreadnought devs if you see this which i doubt you will please for the love of god give me an option to automatically save my username and password because it is really annoying to have to type it in every time i log into the game dumb or at least make it like blizzard does where when you type in your username and password it automatically logs you in from the main menu screen instead of having to log in in the game which i can't even copy and paste a password into <laughs> that's my my five seconds of of annoyance but let's go ahead and jump right on into the uh to the tutorial mission huh yeah if you haven't seen this game this game is gorgeous and really cool i'm just gonna shut up and let this Introductory section playthrough. Let's get this shakedown underway. Take us out, nice and slow. This is your show, Captain. But try not to scratch my ship. It's older than you. Captain, put the old lady through her paces. That's an order. All right, so we're going to go ahead and welcome W to move forward. Press W to continue. Oh, wow, this is really loud in my ears. This is ridiculously right, loud. now we're moving. Sydney Bay STC, this is Bix. Be advised, we're launching the training vessel with a rookie captain. Very rookie Get captain. To that, Bix. You're good to go. Have fun. All right. Navigate the hangar, WASD is to move. So we're just going to kind of get the lay of the game right now and just take a look at how it gets played. Are we far enough out yet that we can take move? Take us to these coordinates, Captain. Engage the thrusters. All right, so now we have control over the Sydney ship. Bay is the only place you'll get to command a real battleship, you know, from the good old days, the great solar war. You see all the traffic? Rebels and refugees coming here in search of liberty or answering the call for adventure. And Sydney Bay is tax-free. Are we there yet? There we are. Good. Take us to these coordinates now. There we go. Use the dorsal and ventral thrusters. That means go up and down. So we got spacebar and shift to move up and down. These things are slowly coming in and out of the space station area. Okay, we're almost there. Seems in order. There we go. Wow. Increase the thrust and take us to the next stop. All right, so now we're going to give ourselves more thrust. To increase thrust, press and hold either E or middle mouse and select increase thrust. So there's all these different options. And we can pull this up and we can increase thrust. There we go. Keep going. Next stop is Sydney Bay's private shooting range. We're going to shoot some tin cans. This is crazy loud, and I'm really sorry. I hope I remember to turn down the game audio. Actually, can we do that real quick? Let's go to settings, audio, master volume. Let's just crank this down to like 50%. It's still really loud. All right, so now we're just burning all of our fuel up. Engines are offline, so the crew can run diagnostics. Okay. Cool. Make sure the energy the energy system is offline now. Okay. 
Is that we all need I need to check out weapon systems now? Sail energy system oh, tappy your middle mouse. Okay. The target should arrive any moment. Use your primary weapons to destroy the target. So we just Don't fire. Worry. It's already marked for scuttling. Nice. Left yeah. mouse to fire weapons, right it's mouse to promise. zoom. Okay, so we can zoom in with the right mouse button. Very cool. Okay, now divert more power to the weapons and fire on the next target. Alright, so we can amplify the weapons, which is right here. And that gives us bigger guns, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, that does. Nice. Good. Now switch to flak turrets and target it again. Alright, so how do we do that? Q is heavy flak. Oh, ooh. <laughs> nice. Now let's test the ranged targeting system. Focus the target in your crosshair and fire. Okay. So the reticle color indicates weapon effectiveness range. Alright. Okay, so we can see here this is yellow. Which means that it's not very effective because it's so far out. Oh, that's cool, and it makes a little ding noise every time we hit it. There we go. Nice. Okay, okay. Do we have another target? We do. It's time to put on a real show. Let's test the ship's modules. Use them to fire at the targets. Okay, which one? One and two to fr fire broadside missiles. So we want to go ahead, press keys one through four, we'll fire abilities. When an ability icon turns green, his ability is locked. Oh, 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 nice. Take offensive modules offline. Let's run through our defensive systems. Okay. So. Activate the anti-missile laser now. Unless you want to pay for the next paint job. So we can activate that. Is it still active? Okay. Oh, cool. I don't know what it's doing. It says it's active. Do you want me to fire? I can't. Oh, cool. Look at that. It's just... Nice. Uh, I guess let me turn on my shields. Make them better. Excellent. Now, take the module systems offline. When the auxiliary power is restored, activate the shields. How do I... Ah, oh, okay. There we go, shields. Am I firing? What do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know what you want me to do. My shields are going offline. Oh, hey, there's more missiles coming in. Alright, so shields are only temporary. Alright, basic combat one. The bar on the left side of your screen indicates your ship's hull integrity. While out of well, combat, uh, the ship's hull integrity will slowly recharge. We're good to go. Let's head back to the docking bay. Okay. This is Sinley STC. We've detected incoming raiders. All hands to battle stations. All hands. Roger that, Sinley STC. All right. You heard the news. Playtime is over. We're warping into battle. Ooh. How do I warp? Uh, activate shields. Okay. Oh, we're just warping. All right, that's it. We're just going to warp. No chances. Merp. All right, playtime is over. Time to see what you're made of, Captain. Uh, let's go ahead and amplify our weapons. Enemy incoming, watch out. The Corvette is one hell of a fast ship and not easy to target. Try to keep the destroyer at mid range. Alright. So, do we have unlimited ammo? I don't actually know. Nice, nice, nice. Take it, take it. You know what? Why don't I use this? Got big guns. Oh, oh, we're getting hit. We're getting hit. Nice. All right, so we got to switch weapons. Whoa, you're like right here. Hey, guy. Enemy eliminated. Uh, let's crank these on real quick and. Nice shooting. Keep it up, Captain. Oh, we got shields online. Nice. I think we're going to take him down. Oh, yeah. 
Sweet! Ahoy, Captain. This is your Allied Tack Cruiser here, patching you right. up. We've got your back Thank you. Now. Are we good? Are we done? Did we kill him? Was that it? I think we got him. No, Heavy threat not detected. That flying fortress easily matches our firepower. Don't let them get close to our allies. A dreadnought doesn't give second chances. I don't see him. There it is. Okay. So let's go ahead and head up here. Nice. Nice. Alright, well, there's no reason to change. So we can actually change between weapons. Man, this thing is getting taken out. Like, we're not even doing anything to him at all. Oh, there go our missiles. Oh, yeah. Let's see if they hit at all. No, I don't think they're even going to hit it. Because I think it looks like they all just landed over there. What the heck? Taking them down. Taking them down. Nice. Not destroyed. If they can't handle the heat, they better stay out of Sydney Bay. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's the last of them. Nice. That was Hi. surprisingly impressive, Captain. Heck yeah, it was. Head back. You're ready for the real thing. Sydney STC Bix here. Our rookie just earned their first merits. <laughs> We're heading home. Clear up six. All right, well, how about that? Let's go ahead and warp back, I guess. And uh, is that it? Is, it? is it just gonna warp back and be done with it? I think so. I think that's it. Seems like it. I mean, okay. Yeah, Dreadnought, loading. Cool. Well, that was- the your tech. The trader has all you need to be the best. For a price. Of course. So, Bix has sent over another one. Pleased to meet you, I guess. He may think you're captain material, but don't expect me to trust you so quickly. <clears throat> Here's the deal. Thanks. I'll lease you ships to take into combat, and in exchange, I'll be taking a share of your earnings. Sinley Bay may be tax-free, but I'm certainly not. <laughs> when you've got the money and proven you won't blow yourself up, we'll see about letting you buy something of your own. Until then, I've assigned you one of my older but sturdy ships. Now you're ready for your first job. Let's see what you're made of, Captain. All right, and I think that's this ship, which looks really, really awesome, if you ask me. And with that, guys, this is stupid short. <laughs> I know this is like 12 minutes, but uh, I don't know how long the missions are going to be, so I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this one up here. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you're excited to see this, if you're not excited to see this, if you're sad that StarCraft is over, because I know I'm sad that StarCraft is over. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know if you're excited about it as much as I am and we'll definitely uh we'll definitely be playing some more of this oh I can actually oh sweet can I uh oh this ship looks really cool I am actually an old EVE online player uh, I used to play EVE for a number of years I played it and I really really loved it so for me this really gets my uh this really tickles me playing this playing Dreadnought um, and I did see this at PAX South. I don't know if I said that, but I did see I didn't get to play it, unfortunately, because the line is ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, I am I am excited to... Oh, we can actually look at the all the different ships. The artillery cruiser is basically a what? giant cannon with engines nailed to the back of it. This is cool. She's designed to decimate targets from a this distance. This is even cooler. A well-placed shot from the main gun can cripple an enemy ship. What the crap? A lot of moving parts means not a lot of armor. So she's not going to hold up for long at close ranges. Keep a weather eye out for aggressive maneuvers from the faster enemy vessels. Wait, can I can I fly this? I don't know if I can fly this, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a look at these because I don't even know what I can do yet. Speed, 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 speed. I want armor. Yeah, I don't think I can actually. I think I can only just use these things. This thing is really cool looking. Is this the ship that we were looking at? There no. She is. <gasps> Dreadnought class. She doesn't it's move gorgeous. too fast, but she's lined from bow to stern with heavy armor. I think it's what we were filled just to the flying. gunnels with firepower, so she doesn't really have to. A dreadnought size makes her a pretty easy target on the battlefield. Watch your positioning, and always keep one eye on the smaller, faster ships, especially anything with long-range firepower. 
this ship is really pretty. I will definitely say that. Anyways, as I already said, I'm wrapping it up. Thanks, guys, for watching. As always, let me know what you think. And uh, if you're not subscribed, you make sure you subscribe. We're going to be playing this for as long as there's interest, I suppose. Um, which hopefully for, will be for a while because this game looks really cool. And it's really pretty. And space, man. Space, flying ships, exploding things. It's like, it's just, it's just amazing. Look at this thing. Anyways, guys, till next time, like I said, I'm Noah Meister. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. Bye.